Hi, it's your boy Anthony Miller, also known as King Prince, also known as Ant Mills. It's another episode of Street Spiritual. I just wanted to tap in with y'all real quick to let y'all know that um, I love y'all. I want to see y'all some positive energy. I just want to let you know that I support you as a person. I send positive thoughts to you. Whether you send a negative vibration to me, I repelled it with a positive energy. I repel it with putting out positive acts of love, of unconditional love to the universe, to my peoples, to my brothers, to my sisters, to strangers. I just want to take this time out to show the universe how much gratitude I got. How much appreciation I got for everything that I have been through, for everything I have gotten, and for everything that I go through. I want to say a big shout outs to my ancestors, to my ascended masters, to all my spirits that's working for me in the spirit realm. I want to send a big shout out to the universe, to the most high, and of course to my higher self, most of all. I just want to say peace and blessings to everybody out there going through a rough time. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the the world that we can't explain and that we don't have answers for. But God is revealing himself to you and he's adjusting the world. We all need to vibrate as a people and raise from 3D to 4D and it's time to elevate. That's why so many people is breaking up because it's time to shake up the world. It's time for you guys to be with like-minded people. It's time for you to vibrate. It's time for you to want more. It's time for you to have stronger ambition. It's time for you to fight. It's time for you to get off the couch. It's time for you to awaken. I just wanted to say that to you guys and let you guys know that I'm always here for y'all and I'm always gonna be a light of a God and source to always help out for the world and always give back to the universe and to all my brothers and sisters and of course my chosen ones and to people that's still trying to awaken that have no idea what's going on. I'm talking to you guys too. Like, I'm just trying to send out nothing but love and gratitude and much appreciation to y'all. You know what I mean? If you came across me during the time, I wasn't as feeling as vibrant as I am right now or I wasn't as happy as I seem right now, then I apologize if you got the bad end of my stick. If I exalted a negative emotion to you, I apologize. And may these words resonate with your spirit wherever you at and that you find it in your heart to forgive me because I am asking for forgiveness. And if you don't, that's on you. But I definitely wanted to say, yo, hold our head up. This is a time we need to stay together. We always needed to stay together. But at the end of the day, you can't stick with people that's not going nowhere in life. That's not trying to accomplish nothing. And it's not trying to be anything different. And it's not trying to improve themselves in a positive way. You know, I'm not telling you to hold on to that because we are at a time in the world now where we need people to say, yo, I value myself enough to say I'm not even going to fuck with this guy no more. Uh, I'm not even going to fuck with this chick no more because I value my integrity and myself enough to know that I will get better. And it may not come right now. I may see a whole bunch of people that's in relationships. And I may question God and ask him, why I ain't got nobody? Why I ain't happy? And I'm loyal and I'm a good person. And I keep getting bad people that's cheating on me. I ask myself that question too. You know. And then if you listen to somebody and you say, oh, you ain't ready yet. And then they say, 
Oh, all right, what you mean I ain't ready, you know? What you mean I want people to cheat on me? You know? And, and then they say, like, so, oh, you mean to tell me I want, I'm want? i asking people to cheat on me? Not necessarily that, but necessarily that. Because the thing is, like, if you with somebody, you committed to them, and you know you're a loyal person, and they keep cheating on you, and you don't want to cheat on them, and you don't leave them, you you not valuing yourself. You not showing them your value. You have to leave them. You have to let them know that it hurts you. And you have to stand behind it and stand for it because it's what you stand for. And if you don't, then it's going to show them that you don't stand for that. And they think they're going to do it again. Oh, you love me enough to keep letting me beat on you. That means you don't love yourself enough to leave me. You see what I'm saying? If I love myself enough, I won't keep taking this toxic shit from Shorty. I value myself and value my energy that I'm like, if she can't see that I can't deal with this shit, I'm out. She can figure it out later. And I'm going to have to quit smoking weed. But that's another story. I just wanted to say, yo... Nothing but love, nothing but gratitude, nothing but appreciation. It's your boy, Anthony Miller. It's another episode of Street Spiritual brought to you by your boy, King Prince. And I'm going to close it like this. Through the thick and thin. Shorty still stuck with me. That's the main reason I gotta say you fuck with me. Even though we argue, you really be bugging me. Every minute I'm enjoying your company. Girl, we are equal though. I don't think you under me. Raised with all girls, I know what a woman need. I got a plan for us to live comfortably. And every car that we drive would be a luxury Even though we stress You know I got us You ain't gotta be a princess You my goddess We on the road to invest all our profits This whole world's a big test God just watches If you understand my views Then peep my knowledge Then everything that I'm really spitting is logic I'm looking for a detour Just so I can see more Things that I've been through Is all I can speak for we out. <laughs> Jada voice.